Hello everybody, today we are going to uh, open Searstat and we are going to create a simple data set that is formed of a number of variables, let's say two or three variables, and try to use this data set, maybe not this video, but in other videos to create certain statistical tests. But let's start now to create the data set. So, uh, in order to create the data set, we will go to this tab, which is called the case listing session. It will give us a, um, a window in which there are numerous tabs. So we have uh, the data tab, the selection tab, the table tab, and the output tab. So let's, um, let's choose a, um, a, a data tab. Let's choose this. I'd like to use the plus data. Plus data contains more variables that will be useful to you when you uh, extract more data. So I like plus data and I'd like to use plus data for older versions of the um, uh, of the data tab. So I, th I guess the the oldest plus data I think it's uh, will be I think it will be this one. So the research plus data from 1975 to 2019. And now it's it's on. So I'm going to go to the selection tab and the selection tab. We can uh, use it to get the cohort that we need to extract. Like if we want to get um, data on cohorts of like, for example, tongue cancer skin cancer, breast cancer, we can use the edit, and then we can use site and morphology, we can use the site tree code, ICDO3 WHO, and we can choose the, the sites. I'd like to choose a, a less, less common type of cancer, so let's say lip cancer, for example, and after we choose it, we choose Okay, so now it added us to our selection statement, which is the lip uh, cancer. If we want to edit also to uh, include a certain year of diagnosis, so let's say collect the year of diagnosis and limit the year of diagnosis from the year 2000 till maybe 2010. So all we have to do is uh, press shift and then click so it will include all the years from 2000 to 2010 and we will say okay so after that it, it adds this to the selection statement so i think this is this will be like a nice cohort and then we will go to the table tab and the table tab we choose the column variables that we want usually i would love I, I love to include the id the id can be found in the other tab so there is the patient id so uh, we click colon here and it will be added as a column and then we will um, add the uh, the icd code to confirm yes we use the icd code as a column to confirm that these are all lip cancer cases and let's choose uh, gender so we'll find it here as sex. This is a column. And then we can, let's say, find the age at diagnosis. So since this is a case listing data, some case data are present uh, for case listing tables. So like here, there is, um, it should be, it should be an age diagnosis here, age at diagnosis, but I think it's not here. I think it's maybe it's an, an older version or something like that. So let's take the age recode with single ages and 85 plus and include it as a column variable. So now we, ha we will have a table. And this table will have four columns patient ID, site recode, sex, and age. And remember that this cohort is the cancer lip cohort. And in the output, we can define this table as cancer lip 2000 to 
to 2010. And then execute. We, we will click execute. And after we, we do this, the SeerStat software will spend some time finding our data. And then it will display it as a table. So we have 2,179 records. And records means a case. So here we are. We have um, 2,000, like a, I think 2,719, I think I don't remember the number. But if we go down to the last one here, it's 2,179, yes. And you will see that the Citri code uh, is lip and the sex is male or female. And this is the age recode with single ages and 85 plus here. So uh, case number one is a male and his age is 85 plus years. So it's his more than 85 plus years. Uh, the case number two is a lip cancer is a male too. And his age is 82 years precisely. And um, the age, the case number three and number four will uh, have similar information. In order to transform or transfer this uh, data set into Excel, for example, we can like hover the mouse here and click. And while we are, while we are pressing the left mouse button, we will move it to the right to include all the columns here, and then right click and then copy. So now this is copied, and all we have to do is select an Excel, Microsoft Excel, where is it, Microsoft Excel, yes, it's opening now. I'm sorry it takes too long because it it takes time including the add-ins so now it is opened and we can create a blank can create a blank uh, worksheet like this and while this is selected we just click paste and you'll find that everything is transformed the way it was in the searstat software so now we now have four columns patient id we have the site recode and we have the sex and we have the age and then we can work with this data set uh, to perform other statistical analyses according to our studies. Thank you very much for uh, keeping up with me until this time. And uh, if you have any questions, um, any topics that we want to cover in future videos, please drop them down in the comments section below. And I will personally see that I read every comment and respond with videos of what you request. Thank you so much and see you soon.